All right, so to finish everything up, we ended up putting the cookies in at 300 degrees. If you're doing multiple sheets of cookies, you have to do them one at a time. And then they went in for about 10 minutes or so each batch. Talking about the foot? This is what they look like. So when you guys are putting your cookies on the cookie sheet, make sure you let them sit for about 20 minutes to 45 minutes. What you want is a skin to form on the top. You're, what you do is touch the cookie. And if, nothing, and if you just see the skin move and nothing comes off, you're ready to go into the oven. This is a very, very important factor to it. Just a step before that, when you pipe out your cookies, make sure you slam them on the counter. What you're going to do is rise all the air out of it. So that's going to create a less of an air pocket for when you do it. It's going to make more firm, not airy, and fall apart on you. So just remember those couple steps. So there are a couple of steps that people don't really do. And then we let them set, let them rest, let them cool down. Because if you don't, they're going to mush up when you take them off the cookie sheet. So spatula, nice little thin guy. And we're just going to slowly go underneath of it. It's going to rise. So this is called the foot. You're going to see a little gap that comes up in between. That's what you're looking for. If you get about an eighth of an inch or so, your cookies are done. Take them out. You're going to see a little bit of browning around the sides. Um, they have gone for probably about a couple minutes too high. Um, or your oven may be too hot. But this is what you want, a nice round, crisp cookie. Perfect. Sorry. Now we're going to put them together. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. Can't probably already cut already put it. I see it. Oh, okay, just making sure. Alright, so this is our ganache. We ended up making it and it went into the fridge so that way it can get more of a firm texture so that way it's not soupy falling all over the cookie. So now it's gonna come out kind of like a not fudge consistency, but it's more of a firm chocolate situation. Hold this back. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to take two of the cookies. And we're just going to pipe some chocolate in between the cookie. And smush the filling, and there you have your macaroon. Eat it.